Oh, Bubba. It's about to get real. And we finna get into it, y'all. But first, y'all know how we do. Intro. Yo, it's me, your boy, JJV. What is good, Great White Gang? What is good, Creep Squad fam, Saint Squad fam, and Goon Squad fam? What is good, y'all? It's your boy, Jason JV, saying welcome to another reaction video. Although, actually, this will be a review video because I did get this a once over, so I do know what my man, uh, Mises, is going to be talking about on here. I mean, it's obvious. I mean, it's in the title, so I mean. There, there's your there's your giveaway um this is a message for at up church official pride comes before the fall and so uh yeah it's gonna get get real interesting y'all so without further ado let's go ahead and get right into this thing by liking the hey 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 go this message is for ryan up church making this video because i'm giving you the benefit of the doubt ryan okay hold up my bad y'all uh let me Check my resolution. There we go. All right, now let's try this again. By liking the hit here, again. This message is for Ryan Up Church. Making this video because I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt, Ryan. Because the reality is, I think you actually believe in your mind that you were giving me a pass by not saying my name in that last video and uh you know trying to be a nice guy and give me some solid advice that is that is something to to consider i i will be man enough to admit and um yeah maybe perhaps perhaps towards the end and all that i think you genuinely believe that in your mind the reality is you really weren't though and that's really just your pride making you think that and the bible says pride comes before the fall i'm trying to help you not fall speaking of the bible you said recently in a video it's called the holy bible because it's full of holes i'm gonna tell you like this dog it ain't yeah you see and that's something i'm not cool with and this is something that i have to call cap on when it comes to church because here's the thing y'all now look just because like i said in my last video that i heard church supposedly cut ties with uh some BS punk boy or whatever. Um, now that doesn't mean I'm going to put the kid gloves on and, and be a yes man towards you. No, 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 no. That's not how that works. I'm still going to call a spade a spade and I'm still going to be tough, but fair with you. So yes, you did put out a video talking, about, you know, bashing on the Holy Bible, talking about all oh, they call it the Holy Bible because it was full of holes and, you know, it's loaded up with nothing but a bunch of bull. The people, that, that read it by the bull you know by bull you know what i mean this crazy logic of yours um now look i'm all for people believing whatever they want you know what i mean people can associate with whether whatever religion that they want to associate with they can have whatever religious views they want to have you know what i'm saying i'm all for that and i'm all for people disagreeing you know what i'm saying but i mean you know don't really gotta, you know, di disrespect people like that, you know what I'm saying, come at people sideways like that, you know what I mean, which, I mean, let's face it, dog, I mean, you have been coming at a lot of people, you know, sideways as of late, dude, um, and just on this, on this little tirade and everything, but anyway. Full of holes, full of a whole lot of truth, mine's kind of full of a lot of wear and tear, because I actually read it, when you read it, you'll hear about a story about this king named David, and this king does something real foul, and so God sent a prophet to him, to speak to him, and tell him, hey bro, you're super out of pocket, the prophet used the story when he talked to the king, he said, check this out dog, it's a man in your kingdom, and he did this other man real greasy man, and David got real heated, he said, man who, they deserve to die today, that sound a little familiar man as far as like um you know someone who's on top of the world you know what i mean doing another man greasy as he said doing another man dirty i, I mean i'm saying man i'm saying let's call a spade a spade let, let, let's let's keep it fair let's keep it a hundo you know what i'm saying bro let's go day and then the problem Prophet said, that man is you. So check this out, bro. Just like this king in this story was anointed at a young age and blessed with a whole lot of favor on his life. You've been blessed with a whole lot of favor on your life in a young. Not wrong. 
Not wrong. And you know what happens to the human condition when you give it too much money, too much power, too much influence, too fast? Pride. Pride that causes people to deny reality. You and I both know you know who I am. You and I both know I was at your house. And you and I both know that wasn't no diss track. Which means you know that you lied about me several times in that video. So I suggest... Now, in case y'all forgot about the video that my man is referring to, he's talking about the May 5th video that Church put out. You know, where, where there was a whole lot of cap sizes up in there. And, yeah, Church was, was coming off real disrespectful in, in it. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, totally did me this dirty in that video. You know what I mean? And <laughs> just, I mean, basically, you, you showed your ass in that video. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm going to call a spade a spade. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be fair. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm not a yes man. So if that's what you're asking of me, well, I'm sorry, my guy, but I'm not going to give you that. Um <clears throat> Oh my god, man. See, and the thing is, all of this, like I said, all of this could have been avoided, man. Have we just, you know, stayed with the truth? Have we just stayed stuck on the truth and told nothing but truth? Nobody would be stacking L's right now. Nobody. You know what I'm saying? That video did not have to be made. You know what I mean? Um, at least that version of that video did not have to be made. You could have done something completely different that could have been a whole lot better. Because that was, that was really a big fat waste of time. That was a big fat waste of your time. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, you know, so far, like I said, Mises is right in making all these comparisons. You know what I mean? As far as like the story between you and this person, man. And I don't know. Hopefully, uh, you know, you wake up and, and you and you learn from this, bro. I mean, none of us want to see you fall. Okay. Let's make sure we're clear on that. We, I don't want to see you fall. I don't want to see you fail. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. But. You know, you got to recognize at times when you're wrong, okay? You are not the second coming. I don't care what you or those around you believe. You are not Christ himself. You are not the second coming. You you can you cannot walk on water, okay? You are a fallible person. You are not, you know, infallible. You can do wrong. You have done wrong. And you're still going to do wrong. So... Like I said, man, you need to get out of this whole freaking spoiled brat mindset that you seem to be in nowadays. And you know you're in that mindset because, like you told me in that IG video, right? That, oh, everybody is is, is always wrong. Everyone is always, you know, pushing this narrative. Dog, you're pushing a narrative right now. Or at least you were. You were pushing a narrative. Uh, let me correct myself because, see, look, I'm I'm not infallible. See, I, I I've done wrong. But see, I'm, I'm man enough to correct my mistakes. I'm man enough to admit when I said something wrong or I didn't done something wrong. I'm not perfect. Nobody is. I'm a human being at the end of the day, walking on God's green earth, just like you are. But again, you, you have this mentality like everyone else is always wrong. You're always right. You're always correct. You know what I mean? Even though there's receipts to prove that you're wrong and you're, you're letting your pride blind you, get in the way of you acknowledging the fact that, hey, you, you, you're, you're wrong. You're not always right. You're not always correct. You're flawed. You're a man. You're a human being. Welcome to the real world. Video. So I suggest you humble yourself like King David does when you go on and continue to read the story. Facts. I agree. And continue to inherit God's blessings. Because, bro, you're going down a road you don't want to go. I'm happy that you're happy. I'm happy. And uh, he is not wrong. He Church is going down a bad path, man. And I would love nothing more than to see him come out of that bad path. You know what I mean? And come out of it a better man. Come out of it a better person. I'm happy that you're happy. I'm happy that you found someone that makes you happy and you got a child on the way. I'm happy. For Amen to all that. For your success. I don't got no hater animosity towards you, bro. So humble yourself. Recognize that video you put out about me was super foul. Even though I'm sure in your mind, you think you were being polite. You think you were being easy on me. You think you were looking out for me. Reality is you weren't, bro. You're just so full of yourself at this point. You got so many people around you gassing you up, man, that you think you... Also, not wrong. That is facts. Yeah, he, he does have people around him gassing him up. You know what I mean? Acting like he's the second coming, that he's not infallible. You know what I'm saying? He can do no wrong. Dude, those are not the people you want around you, dude. You need to have real people around you. People who are not afraid to tell you, dog, you're messing up, man. You need to stop. Dog, what you said right there, that was wrong. What you did right there, that was wrong. You need, you need to correct that. Those are the kind of people you need around you. 
You know what I mean? To keep you grounded, to keep you humble. You can't actually be wrong about something well i'm giving you this opportunity to recognize you're wrong and take down that video dog are you gonna find out what happens when you lie about one of god's people got 24 hours bro facts and see and here's another thing um that misa said and i 100 agree with i mean you want to talk about people lying on your name and stuff dog i mean look at the names recently you lied on you lied on my name you lied on Mises' name you know what i'm saying um I mean, who else knows what other names that you lied on, dude? I mean, see, now I have to question some of the things that, that, that you said because, again, you said some things about me that, that were not true. You said some things about Mises that were not true. So how is it that it's not okay for people to lie on your name, but it's okay for you to turn around and lie on other people's names? I mean, please make that make sense, man. Tell me you're not a hypocrite without telling me you're not a hypocrite. I'm saying, y'all, I'm saying. So, yo, shout out to Mises for this video, man. I did give it a like because I absolutely 100% agree with this video. There was very little to actually no cap sizes in this video at all. And uh, if y'all agree, then y'all know what to do with the thumbs up down below. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah. And if y'all want to watch this video uninterrupted, you know what I'm saying? Go show Mises some love. Y'all know to do that link for the original video. I'll be in the description down below. That would be very much pre appreciated. Let him know that your boy JJV done sent you. Sure, he would appreciate that, as would I. And, uh, yeah, y'all. Look, like I said, love church, hate church, whatever the case may be. We got to stop giving our favorite artists, the people we love, free passes. We can't be afraid to tell people that we love when they're wrong. And if that person has a problem with you telling them that they're wrong, well, then maybe they're not a quality human being after all. Maybe. You know what I mean? Anyways, y'all. I'm gonna leave it with that. It's your boy, Jason JVs, and y'all take care of blessed one. I catch y'all in the next one. All right? Peace. Jason JV on YouTube? Uh, what's up with you, Jason? JV. What up, Jason? JV. And just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JC, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Bass. I'm just about to have to do that to do with him. Who's saying what's up to you? You get a motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're sad, you're happy. I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. It's like it occurs all the time. So you ready to be on the swerve. So subscribe, tap the little bell, turn on the notifications, and if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it, yeah!